What's going on everybody? It's your boy J. Coop and today we're going to be getting into my jersey collection. Let's get into it. Alright guys, we know about the jerseys. I mean jerseys been popping for so long. The first time that I really started getting into jerseys, I was really young. I think my first jersey might have been an Allen Iverson jersey. I'm gonna try to find a picture of it because I was super small, super skinny. I mean, like I like still in skinny, but I was like so skinny. I had the Tommy Hill figure head do-rag thing on. It was hilarious, man. But I mean, jerseys are really a part of the culture. And it used to be the longer the jersey was, the better. I don't know why that was the case. Like we used to wear dresses, it looks like. That was the style then. I more so wear my jerseys now to fit me. I mean, like they might be a little bit longer, but I'm not wearing them too, too long. Like 2000 to like 010, like that decade was just completely jerseys. And it was a dope fashion statement. Like the number one dude, I think when it came to jerseys, that was the best was Fab. Man, Fab used to kill the jersey game. That was when you can go to a corner store and actually pick up fake jerseys, man. And it was ridiculously crazy. The dude might have like a Michelin S for like $20. I was like, he needs some milk. I shouldn't be rocking this, but Jay-Z tried to kill it. Jay-Z said, throwbacks, I threw them back. Remember those button ups? Young hoes, tell them ordinary Joe's button up. But it came back, man. The jersey came back in full effect. And like, I honestly think it's here to stay. The jersey can be worn to sporting events. It can be worn to the city that you're gonna wear the jersey to. It just really makes sense just to have a couple jerseys in your collection. And you might just like the sports team. So you're gonna support your team. That's just how it goes. So without further ado, let's get into my collection. All right, guys, first up, we have the Villanova Wildcats jersey. Now, I specifically got this jersey for a pair of shoes. Hold on one moment. For these bad boys right here, sooner as I got the Obsidians, I said I gotta get the Villanova Wildcats jersey. Cause I felt like this jersey goes best with these shoes. And I haven't really worn it other than with these shoes, but you know, I thought it was a good match. I like this jersey a lot. I like the way the Carolina blue and the navy mesh well together. They got the little V right here, right at the collar for Villanova. Uh, this is a Nike jersey. And on the back of the jersey where like the paneling is at, where the number one is, it's like the school's structure behind it. Like it's dope the way they got that set up. Yeah, so that's my Villanova Wildcats jersey. All right guys, now this jersey right here, this is very, very old. Like I might've got this in middle school, but I kept it. This is an authentic, this is champion. Like this is when champion really made jerseys. You see the C right there. This is the Michael Jordan Bulls jersey. You really can't get more classic than that. And as you can see, I can still fit it, but I bought it back in middle school. So that just shows you that we used to buy our jerseys much, much bigger than what we needed them. You can't get more classic than MJ, the Red Bulls. Everybody loved Michael Jordan. And this is just a crazy jersey that I kept for a very, very long time. Okay guys, so this is my Darren Williams Brooklyn Nets jersey. Uh, I got this one really because I like the way it looked. Like I like that it had sleeves on it and I was going to Brooklyn to see my brother. So I was like, hey, might as well pick up a jersey. And this is when Darren Williams was good. Cause when he came to the Cavs, he stunk up the place, D-Will. What are you doing? I think it was because he cut his hair. Like once he got his hair cut, and I don't know why he went bald all of a sudden, he just started playing trash. But <laughs> has that Brooklyn on the front, Williams on the back. Cool jersey, I don't really wear it anymore, but for the reason that I got it, it was a really good pickup. All right guys, as you can see, this is a Puerto Rico baseball jersey. Now, once again, I got this jersey because I was going to Puerto Rico. I wanted to just incorporate Puerto Rican swag a little bit while I'm out there. I actually like it too, cause it has the Puerto Rican flag right here. Like that's like really dope to me. I like that flag. This is made by Majestic. I'm in Ohio, so I had to roll with the Ohio team. Francisco Lindor for the Cleveland Indians. And it has that world classic series symbol right there. That's like when they play all the teams around the world. So that's the symbol for that. Pretty much a one time wear here too. But if I ever go to an Indians game, I got to pull it out for the Francisco Lindor factor. All right, guys, this is my Dave Concepcion Cincinnati Reds jersey. It was crazy how I even found this jersey. I was at TJ Maxx. This was some years back. You know, just scrolling through the aisles and I see this jersey. I'm like, 
what the heck? Like, this is a Michelin S authentic jersey right here. Like, let me see how much it is. This was $40, y'all. Marked down from $250 to $40. I had to pick it up, man. Never like I wear this jersey, always get a lot of compliments. I think it's because of the way the back looks. It has that conception just going around rainbows around the 13. Like that just looks crazy right there. This is like kind of special to me because I found it for so low. And once again, this is the Buckeye State representing right here for the Cincinnati Reds. This is my Dave Concepcion Michelin S. Okay, so sticking with the Cincinnati Reds theme, we got the Johnny Bench. My next few jerseys that are coming up will be this style of jersey. This is the uh, practice warm-up Cooperstown Michelin S jersey. Like, it was something about these that I like, mainly because they didn't cost as much as a regular Michelin S jersey. These are more around $100, so it's easier to work with with these jerseys. But... I love this jersey, man. Like, this is more of a breathable material because it's like what they wore like for batting practice. I think that's what these are called, batting practice jerseys. And I'm going to leave links in the description below on where you can pick up most of these jerseys at. It's all red with the white piping around it. Has the bench on the back, number five. I tend to wear this with my Jordan 5s since it has the number five on the back. Just try to coordinate a little bit. So this is the Johnny Bench Cincinnati Reds. All right, for all you Drake fans, representing the six right now with this Joe Carter <laughs> Toronto Blues jersey. Blue Jays, Coop. Blue Jays. I just really like this color of blue. Like, it really went good with my Prestos. Very, very clean jersey. I like the way the Carter looks on the back as well. It kind of takes up the whole back of the jersey. I, I like kind of like that look, like, fulfilling it out. And if I ever go to Toronto, I'll make sure to pack this in the bag with me. All right, so if you don't know, Ozzy Smith was cold-blooded, man. This dude used to do backflips in the outfield, man. Kind of crazy right here. So I had to pick up the Ozzy Smith jersey. Plus, I rocked it when I went to the Lou. You know, St. Louis, man, the place where Nelly was at. You know, Chingy, all those guys. Jay Quan. Man, Hood Hop was a crazy track. Now, all my life, I'm gonna live it, baby. Now, I'm gonna keep it, baby. Until I'm going, baby. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Hey! This is my Ozzy Smith. St. Louis Cardinals jersey. This is a clean jersey, man. Navy blue. You got the real big STL right here on the chest plate. You have that blue and red piping on the side. And you got that number one O Smith on the back. Ozzy Smith, St. Louis Cardinals. All right, guys. So the last batting practice jersey I have here. This is a Kent Tecliffe Pirates jersey. This is a real clean jersey right here. I like the way the black and the yellow clash on the Pirates jerseys, man. It looks real good. Then you got that yellow, white, and black piping. And this is like a real good heavy material right here on the sleeves. This is number 27, Teclev on the back. I was actually trying to get a number eight. Uh, I think it was really Stargell number eight, but they didn't have it. So this was up right here. This is still a clean jersey. People were still looking like, oh man, that's a Kent Teclev jersey. I didn't know who Kent Teclev was, but he must have been a good player because people liked him. You know what I mean? So this is my Pirates jersey. All right, last but not least, my favorite jersey, hometown repping, authentic Columbus Crew jersey. Don't have a lot of soccer jerseys. This is my only soccer jersey, but it's the hardest. I was actually Googling and they say that the crew had the best team uniforms in the MLS. So I was like, man, why not get the best one? And I was looking at them and I actually think that their design is the cleanest. You can't see it so much, but it's a checkerboard right here in all black. This is an authentic. It has the Columbus Crew SC patch right here. It has the MLS patch right here. And it has another MLS patch right there. But this is why this is my favorite jersey, y'all. This is a customized jersey. We got that Jay Cooper going right there. Columbus Crew Soccer Club at the top. And even though this is an authentic, they screen print their letters like it's not stitched but i really wasn't mad because it still looks good kind of like a raised up screen print like it feels really good but this is a dope jersey man like if you got a soccer team out there and you want to represent represent your city i said go and get it customized i got this done on mls.com it was a little bit pricey but i think it's worth it man this is like a collector's piece for me so that's my favorite jersey right there the columbus crew customized with the acura on the front jersey all right, guys, so that's my jersey collection. I really appreciate you for watching the video. Let me know what your favorite jersey is in the comment section below. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know every time I drop another dope video. And as always, stay blessed, stay true, 
And always stay you. Till next time. Peace.